1920s, the military needed to find a way to keep aircraft in the air longer. Early methods involved wing walkers carrying gas tanks on their backs, but the risks outweighed the benefits and a new solution was needed to be found. The result was nothing short of what looked like an aerial stunt, four pilots, two biplanes, and a hose drop from one plane to the other. This was the start of aerial refueling. The next advancements came years later with modifications added to the B-29 using a loop hose method. Using this system, in February 1949, an American B-50 Superfortress, the Lucky Lady, flew non-stop around the world in 94 hours and one minute. Yet this method still proved unreliable, particularly in bad weather. New high-altitude jet bombers meant a better way was needed. A flying boom with a telescoping pipe was added to the B-29, and the first KB-29Ps went into service. While the KB-29s experienced a series of upgrades to the boom system, the B-29's aging airframe and narrow fuel offload capability limited its effectiveness, and in 1950, the KC-97 became the Air Force's first ordered and designated tanker. Dubbed the Strata Tanker, the KC-97 quickly became the most numerous strategic air command tanker, with more than 800 built. Nearly every B-47 wing had a KC-97 air refueling squadron assigned to it. Even though they were new, the KC-97 had several limitations. While a single KC-97 could refuel a B-47, it took two or more to refuel a B-52 and took a significant amount of time for a KC-97 to get to cruising altitude. The bomber would have to slow down to drop to the KC-97's altitude while still maintaining enough speed to stay in the air, burning a significant amount of the fuel it had just taken on. Fortunately, the KC-135 was in development. In 1957, the Air Force procured 29 of them as an interim solution, but over the next 20 years, Strategic Air Command ended up maintaining nearly a one-to-one -one ratio of KC-135s to B-52s. Now, after nearly 60 years of contributions to countless operations, the KC-135 is being joined by the next generation of air refueling systems, the KC-46A Pegasus.